once was in a hot, dense state Then nearly 14 billion years ago Expansion started Wait, the earth began to cool The autotrophs began to drool Neanderthals developed tools We built a wall We built the pyramids Math, science, history Unraveling the mystery That all started with a big bang What's happening, Lobos? Welcome back to La Mesa Live. Today is Wednesday, December 6th. I'm Megan, and this is my co-anchor, Kailani. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. The attendance office is looking for 12 motivated students for student service for second You must have good attendance and grades. Please, Ms. Ron, please see Ms. Rodnoni at the attendance desk if you are interested. Hey Lobos, this Friday, December 8th, ASB will be hosting Neon Day in honor of the Black Light Dance. We hope to see you in your best neon colors. The Sign Club meets today and every Wednesday in room 512 at lunch. Come out and learn about sign language or come practice your signing skills. Your science teachers are currently recruiting 8th grade students for lab assistance for next semester. This would be your elective for quarters 3 and 4. If you are interested in applying for these positions, please contact any science teacher for more information and to place your name for consideration. Safe Schools Ambassadors, today is your family group meeting. Please go to the family group leaders' classrooms at the beginning of lunch. Since Mr. Peterson is not here today, his family group will meet with Ms. Rojas in room 624. As you all know, the holidays are coming up, which means it's perfect sweater weather. Ugly sweater weather, that is. Everyone wear your ugly sweaters on Wednesday, December 13th at lunch. ASB will have an activity where students will wrap their teachers in wrapping paper for a chance to win team points. Hope to see you all in your ugliest sweaters. Students, please note that blankets should not be brought to school and used as sweaters, jackets, or for any other purpose. Please do not bring blankets to school. Any blankets brought onto campus will be confiscated and returned only to parents or guardians. Today is the last day you can apply to volunteer in the library for the second semester. Just click the link on the library webpage and fill out the form to apply. We are looking for volunteers to help at the library, help at the counter during open library, as well as students to help plan for the book fair. This is a great way to earn your honor society hours, so apply today. Hey Lobos, on January 12th, ASB will be having a school spirit day. Come to school wearing your La Mesa spirit wear to show your Lobo pride. ASB will be doing free face paints to kick off the day. Hope to see you guys in your La Mesa spirit wear or anything else that shows Lobo pride. Defy SUV shirts, no bully shirts, wolf prints, you name it. Let's show our school pride and celebrate the start of a new year and new semester. Make a recycled gift this week in the library. Check out a crafting kit from the library desk during Open Library to create a recycled gift with your own personal flair. A variety of kits are available, including paper bows, magazine trees, and ugly sweater decorations. See you in the library. Tomorrow, December 7th, is the winter concert in the NPR at 7 p.m. Beginning Band, Lobo Jazz Band, and the Advanced Band will be performing. There is no cost at the door. The jazz and advanced bands will be performing for the school on Friday, December 8th through assemblies. The students have worked really hard and are looking forward to performing for attentive and respectful audiences. Report cards are coming soon. Do you have missing assignments? Do you need help? Come to the library on Thursday from 3.15 to 4.15 for homework help. Attention circle of friends, there is no meeting today. 
There are 10 teams on campus this year, and although you are probably very loyal to your own team, we think it's a good idea to get to know a little more about other teams. So now, meet the Wolverines. being a Wolverine. My favorite part about being Wolverine is the teacher. What's your favorite part about Mrs. Freeze? I love her personality because she's so much like, fun and I just love her. What is your main goal as a Wolverine teacher? My main goal is to create um, a passion for learning. Um, as students um, just love to learn you know, new things and discover new things. How do you hope you have influenced your students so far this year? Well, I like it when students come in and they're just so excited to learn and you know see them make connections of you know what we teach them, what um, all the lessons between those. So that's really cool moment to see and know to see them come in and excited to learn so What's your favorite part about being a Wolverine? My favorite part about being a Wolverine is that all the teachers are really supportive and the classes are really fun to be in. And what's your favorite part about Mrs. Wheeler's science class? Miss Wheeler makes learning really fun and funny and she makes it ten times better just by the experience she gives us. What's your favorite part about being a Wolverine? My favorite part about being a Wolverine is that we have the best teachers ever. And what's your favorite part about Mrs. Wheeler Science Class. My favorite part about being Mrs. Wheeler Science Class is all the fun labs we get to do and the fact that she makes our learning experience so fun just makes her an awesome learning environment. What is your main goal as a Wolverines teacher? Uh, I think for me, my main goal as a Wolverines teacher is to help students read better and to think critically about different types of information that they have. And how do you hope you have influenced your students so far this year? I think, um, especially with what we've been doing lately and talking about how to participate in our democracy and things like that and looking at the Bill of Rights and the Constitution, I hope that students have a better understanding of how they can participate in, you know, in American politics and our country. What's your main goal as a Wolverines teacher? Um, my main goal this year is to make a connection with my students and hopefully inspire them to love reading and to love English in general. And how do you hope you have influenced your students so far this year? Um, I hope that my students can tell that I have a passion for English and for writing and for reading and I hope that um, that sparks an interest in them and I hope that I've been influential in that way. Thank you. Um, one thing I like about being a Wolverine is just being with all the students and interacting with everybody. And I like I like my teachers that I have. Um, I like all of them. They're really great teachers, and um, I just like being around them. Great feeling. What do you like most and, about Mrs. Lieberman. You know, one of the things I like about Mrs. Lieberman is that she's a great teacher. She knows her material. Great with students. Great with controlling the class. Um, her classroom has a great feeling, a great vibe to it. And Mrs. Lieberman is just a great teacher overall. As you know, the winter dance is this Friday. Students who are waiting until the last minute to purchase their tickets must buy theirs today. If ASB does not sell 100 tickets today, Mr. Overdevest will be forced to cancel the dance. 
get to the ASB window at brunch or lunch and get your ticket. Tickets are still only 10 bucks. Do not miss the last CS of 2017. Get to the ASB, ASB window today. Today in history, on December 6, 1865, the 13th Amendment to the Constitution was ratified, officially ending the institution of slavery. Today is also the birth date of actor, director, and silent screen star, William S. Hart. He would have been 145 years old. The word of the day for today is interrogate. It is a verb. The definition is to systematically question someone, to question intently. A sample sentence would be, after she found the broken vase, my mother interrogated all of us until she found the culprit. I'll tell you this, it wasn't me. Something you should know about today. Today is National Microwave Oven Day. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow. For Megan and the entire crew of La Mesa Live, I'm Kaylani. Have a windy Wednesday.